It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. So many storylines, Lee. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of people, let alone watching this fantastic game. I'm sure the players are a little bit nervous as well with that audience looming in the background, tuning in on their televisions. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully we get the game that this tournament deserves. Given away. A look at the starting 11 today. A 4-4-2 with a slight tweak, maybe. Yeah, it's all about the central midfield players in this formation, Derek. The two players, instead of playing next to each other, one will just play advanced of the other one. Very, very high players tuck in when they haven't got the ball to help that lone midfield player in the middle of the park. Can he give them the lead? He's gone for power, but might be regretting that now, Lee. Oh, my. Why? How? So many questions. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Schmidt. Dieng. Linder. Correct challenge, he got nothing but ball. And they will be awarded for that. They've given it away. Giving the ball away. Oh, he's through here. Big chance it is. And it has arrived. The opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was. But 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around? He's got no chance. nil then We're giving them the gift of possession and it's Kebauer here well his good visualization and execution well the post getting in the way there and it's a double for him Game. No way for the opposition to contain him, and no wonder he's up celebrating. Well, here we can see Derek from this better angle. It's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection, and there you go, in the back of the net. A second goal for them here. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And the cross is very much on. And it might be. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Now they've lost it. 
Well, they're on the scent of something positive. It might be. Well, it's a procession of goals. And surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. Well, let's have another view of that goal. away again and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago over the touchline for a throw in this Gebauer he's found a pocket of space Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. This. And he takes on the shot. Got to it easily, the keeper. Manuel Schreiner and here's Jan Zwischenbrugger well it was a very good looking move but alas no end product he's enjoying space dangerous looking through ball and offside it is well he just needs to hold his run a little bit Derek he doesn't need to go that early Extremely sloppy in possession. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. It's with Tata Hotti, Christian Gebauer. This looks promising. Block there. He succeeds in.
What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. MLS action, really looking forward to what's going to unfold here, Alan. I think the first ten minutes might tell us how this match is going to pan out, who can gain the upper hand, who can get hold of this ball and ask all the questions. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the match. Everything ready for the kickoff. This is the lineup that the coaches picked for LA Galaxy today. Daniel Steres plays alongside Giancarlo Gonzalez in the centre of defence. Jonathan De Santos plays with Sebastian Lecce on the flanks. And just one out and out attacker in the lineup. Let's have a look at how the opposing team will line up today. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4 5 1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated, otherwise, this formation will not work. Blocked off the pass there. That's a great interception. It's a drive. He's given the free kick. It's in a really threatening position too. Just got a feeling this could be a key moment in the match. A great chance to take the lead. Keeper called into action and ready for it. Corner given. Well, it was a powerfully struck shot and top marks to the keeper there. Well, it's not easy, is it, when you're behind that wall? You can't always see it, but uh, fine handling by the keeper. In goes the corner. Could get his cross in now. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Hernandez. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. This could be a chance. Attention, Edunyani. Yuya Kubo. For an important message. It's good play to, get, to uh, get a put in and intercept. Qatar. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Kubo. Here's the yacht. Into the box it goes, along the ground. Giancarlo Gonzalez. Emiliano Insua. Hernandez. Good clean tackle. Guided through. I was disappointed with that pass. The ball back to the keeper, which wasn't the idea. Return pass. The build up is patient. He's looking for the cross. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Can whip it in now. Well, that looked a decent chance to attack until the player managed to read the pass. Hernandez. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Well, they've got the opposition on the back foot with this break. They're coming at them with numbers. 
No nonsense defending, it was needed. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary and joining me is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. Every reason to believe this will be exciting, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? Well, really, in this great competition, there's been continuity since season 2003-2004. The same format. Remember, they used to be... Surely! And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort, used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. Bosson Bruno Kyle Larin and that is how to thwart them and slipped through beautifully well they would have been in a decent position there but offside oh what a wasted opportunity that is
Given away. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Saido Benahino. Spot on with that tackle. Ibrahim Asek. Bruno in possession. Fossen. Wonderful tackle. Hansen. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Fossen. Kyle Larin. Top notch tackle. Couldn't keep it. Saido Benahino. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Every pass hitting its target. Well, great read there to intercept. Bruno. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Hansen. Very close to worrying the scoreboard operator. No, it's worth a try though, but when he looks at the position he is in, he'll be disappointed he didn't hit the target. He's given us away. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Good technique displayed. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fine.
Hello and welcome. A major final is always something to be excited about. And that's what we have standing before us. The final of the Copa Sudamericana. My name is Derek Ray and with me as always here on the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. This should be something to savour. And you can feel the atmosphere already, Lee. This should be a very significant occasion. Well, Derek, how many times have you heard me say you have to stay focused and just do your job? No better advice for a final, I can tell you that. Play the game, not the occasion. A look at the starting 11 today. What do you think about this particular setup? Well, strikers like support, and they've got support today in the number 10. They've also got three midfield players behind, two slightly wide, and one just sitting in front of the back four. This is what they'll be up against today. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Crossing possibilities. Not all that convincing defensively. Across the touchline, so a throw in here. Garcia. Might be able to set up the chance. He's got to score! And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. the replay here's the value of crosses and when they come in like this almost teed up on a plate he swings his boot and it catches it absolutely perfect what a finish the opening goal of the game then moving the ball effectively Martinez Perez teamwork might be the key such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure well I must say he acquitted himself well under pressure running with the ball confidently tremendous intuition to win it back Garcia and very deftly cut out oh nice ball over the top to chase crossing possibilities can they square the game Well, Derek, a goal to goal, but they don't half look better when they're flying off the crossbar. Look at that, absolutely superb. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Papa. Flag has gone up here, offside the decision. Papa. 
Jimenez. What can he do from here? Now, will they be able to... He must finish! Staunch rear guard action. Oh, and couldn't convert. Read it superbly to take back possession. It's opening up for them. Crossing into the middle. But he took care of it defensively. Palacios. Gutierrez. Sports. It's in the game. Two countries here that perhaps uh, rub each other up the wrong way, Alan, I think. Yeah, sometimes you get a little bit of aggro, but uh, two teams know each other well, Martin, and normally we do get fireworks, but mainly you look at the talent out there, and uh, so much to be excited about. It's a mouth-watering prospect, it really is. It's an international fixture here, Alan, that'll bring back memories for you and your England career. Saw the goal and went for it. It's offside, and the referee's given it.
here comes the corner. Cleared away, well away from goal. Chance for the cross. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. A real chance here. That's a spectacular miss. Such a strong shot from so close. Well, that was wild. It was rash. It was very poor. This is how they love to play on the break. And a goal! And there's no stopping that. That has lasered into the top left-hand corner. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Horan with press. What we should perhaps be looking for from Megan Rapino in this game is her ability to score from wide areas. She's been very prolific for a player in that part of the pitch. Yeah, you look at her stats, nearly one in three from that wide position that's uh, that's some going safety first there Lloyd Lindsay Horan that's a turnover of possession here with good vision this might be it good stop by the goalkeeper Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Going forward well. Cleared away by the defender. It's a hefty clearance, but it's only going to allow the opposition to attack them again. 